I've just seen a guy slumped over his lawnmower crying his eyes out. He says he'll be fine, he's just going through a rough patch. <laughs> <laughs> Hello again everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be showing you a store that contains a shitload of apps and it's also available on Fire Stick unlike the Google Play Store. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so before we start, if you've ever used this app store before, or you end up downloading it, comment down below your favourite app that you've downloaded from it, or the favourite app that you've found. And now, let's crack on with it. Right, so a lot of you might be thinking, where you got that app from? And this is just one of the apps you can get from this store. I'm playing this on Fire Stick, and... I'm using a gamepad and it's working absolutely awesome, which you wouldn't expect from a fire stick. I've just crashed, so let's show you what it is. <laughs> right, so quickly, the gamepad I was using in that clip was the iPega gamepad. I will leave a link in the description down below if you are interested in one of those. But yes, I got that from the giant app store that we are on about, which is Aptoid TV. Now, a lot of you may already know what Aptoid TV is, seen it before, think it's dog shit. And that's fair dues, but it has almost 800,000 apps inside. And I will show you in a moment where you can get it from, but just quickly looking through, you can see on the top apps there what kind of apps you get. You can get some third-party streaming apps as well. You've got Puffin TV, which in my opinion is an awesome browser. You've got some media plays, you've got Tubi TV, and that's just in the top apps. You've got new arrivals, streaming apps, so you've got Plex, Perfect Player, which is for an IPTV to link up to. You've got Streamio. It is torrent-based, so do make sure you're using a VPN if you are using Streamio. Morph TV, that did stop getting updated quite a while back. It might still work, though. But obviously, they're not all the apps inside that category. It's only listing a few. You've got games, so you've got Real Racing. The one I was using then is a Rally one. But obviously, that's inside like your top apps and your listed ones. You've got your categories. So if you go over to entertainment, here is a shit ton of apps. TTV is in there. I'm guessing it's not going to be the most up to date. Obviously, we know file linked exists, and that is probably a better place to get your apps like that. But if you scroll down, there's a load in here that you can try, that you can test. And a lot of the streaming apps I've never even seen before. So if you do come across one that works well, do let me know in the comments section down below. I didn't even realise Roblox is on there and my kids absolutely buzz off that. So I might get that, try it out and see if it entertains them. But on street you can keep going down and down and it'll keep refreshing them. There's absolutely shitloads in there. You've even got the likes of Sony Crackle, Popcorn Flicks, all your official movie and TV show apps. And then you've got your other categories like shopping, communication, social, all that kind of shit. You might find something in there that actually you like and you want. You've got sports. I don't know what's inside here. There might be some things that work well for you. You've got health and fitness. If we're stuck at home, there might be some good videos inside these apps for you to try out. I probably should think about trying one myself. <laughs> and then down again, you've got games. You've got educational music, casual action, casino, racing, strategy, sports games, adventure, arcade, puzzle. I can't carry on. I can't carry on. But you can see there's a hell of a lot of games in there you can choose from. The one I've just been playing, I went into racing and then I used Rally Fury. And then you can keep going down. You can see what updates are available with apps that are already installed on your device that Aptoid TV have. You have a section that shows you your apps that are already installed. And then you've got a settings, and if you go to hardware specs, you can turn off the app filter. So this is filtering out apps that aren't compatible with a Fire Stick. Well, not a Fire Stick in general, it looks like just the spec wise. You can try turning that off and see if you get more choice of apps as well. And also in the multimedia section, you're going to see you've also got FreeFlix HQ in there and YouTube for Android TV. That YouTube is a brilliant layout, I like using it, but the free flicks, it is working as well. And that's obviously a third-party movie and TV show app. I don't know if it's official, but it does work. When you do click on an app as well, it does let you know if it requires an air mouse. Round here, there'll be a mouse symbol, and it'll say if you need a mouse to navigate. So that's handy to know if you haven't got a mouse toggle, 
or you haven't got an air mouse, then you don't want to use the mouse function. Then obviously that lets you know if that app needs a mouse. And then all we have to do to install something, it's as simple as going into it and where it says open, it will say install. And once it's installed, you're good to go. Now what I did notice with this app is when I launched it, it does come up. It won't run without Google Play services, which are not supported by your device. Click OK and it still works a treat. It'll probably just not link up to gameplay services or something like that. And then if I want, I can link up the gamepad, hold that bad boy in, give it a couple of moments. Gamepad's connected, click OK, and there we go. Ding dangly do, we're ready to go. Right, so now let's show you where you can install Aptoid TV, how to get it. So obviously you can install this onto any device, but obviously where you use it, obviously, there's a lot of obviously flying around at the moment. <laughs> but we're using the 4K Fire Stick. So first of all, as you know, you need to go to Settings, My Fire TV, Developer Options, and make sure your apps from unknown sources is turned on. Once you've done that, you're going to click the Home button, and then go to the top left-hand corner, you see a search icon, type in DAO, and then scroll down and it will say Downloader. That is the app you want to download and install, the orange box. If it doesn't download and install, it may be because you've got no bank details linked to your Amazon account. I almost stuttered then, but I stopped myself. <laughs> right, so once we've done that, we're ready to go. So we go to Settings, Applications, Manage Installed Applications, and then go down to Downloader. When we launch the application for the first time, make sure you allow the permissions. Very important, otherwise it won't allow you to download. It will tell you error, no connection or something like that. So once we click on Allow, it's going to ask you to enter a web address, so a URL. And it is worth noting, if you are using an older version of Downloader, Make sure to delete it and install the most up-to-date version. Right, so when we click on that bar, the website you want to enter is letscrackon.org. So once you've typed that in, you may need to pause the video, letscrackon.org. If you're installing this onto an Android box or an Android phone, you don't have to use Downloader. You can just use a normal web browser and visit letscrackon.org inside of Google Chrome or Puffin TV or something like that. So right now, we're going to click on Go. Give it a couple of moments just to load up. And then you're going to see a three-line button, hamburger menu, all that kind of button there. And we're going to click on that. And then you're going to see it says Downloads. Once you click on Downloads, we're going to scroll down the page just a little bit. And you're going to see App Stores. And now you've got a few here, which file linked is probably the most popular. APK Time, that's for a lot of your like third-party entertainment apps. And a lot of them are ad-free. But the one we are wanting today is Aptoid TV. So once we click on this, it's going to take us through to the page. We're going to scroll down to the download button. I just need to take a breath. And once we're at the download button, you're going to click on it. And it's going to start downloading. If you do get an error, just go back and click the download button again and it should work. So once we're here, go across to install. Give it a couple of moments. And if it does say app not installed, it's probably because you've already got a version of Aptoid TV installed on your device. So as you can see, it says app installed. We're going to click on done. And then you want to click on delete and then delete again. This is only the installation file. It's no longer needed, but it will take up storage on your device if you don't delete it. If you do forget, what you can do is go to the left hand side, click on files. And you will find them here. And as you can see, each file is quite big. So 9.7 meg, if you're not downloading them, they do add up quite fast. So we long hold on the enter button and then click on delete. And then they are gone because they're no longer needed. And then one more thing that you can do while you're here on let's crack on .org on the downloads page. At the top of the page, you're going to see the three line button hamburger menu. Add current page to favorites. Click on save. And then every time you come on to download it, you can go to favorites and then click on that. And then there's no need to keep typing in that long website, the long URL. You've just got it in your favorites and it's one click and you've got access to all these different apps inside here, mainly for Android. So that's it. We should have it installed. Let's go back home. 
Like I say, I always go into my applications by going to settings, applications, manage installed applications, and Aptoid TV is right there at the top. Launch application, ding dangly do. Allow permissions on this as well, because obviously it needs to download and install stuff to your device. So we're going to click OK, click on Allow, and then you're good to go. You're free to install whichever app that you desire on your device. Desire. I love that word. It sounds awesome. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I hope you find something you like. Let's jump over to me. Back in the lights. <laughs> Right, so that is Aptoid TV. Hopefully there's enough apps in there to keep you entertained for the near future. And hopefully you like the video. Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da!